do different baby toys. Urge cause babies to get different traits. For example, do passive toys make a child more passive? Aggressive toys make a child more aggressive? I am Heather Krikorian. I'm a professor of human development and family studies at the University of Wisconsin. So this is a really great question. Virtually every theory of child development says that play is crucial to development in every way. So it matters for children's thinking, what we call cognitive development. It matters for their social and emotional development. So through play, children learn how to get along with others and how to express frustration and other feelings in an effective way. Um, it affects language development and how well they um, use language and learn words. It does seem to be the case that toys that encourage certain um, personality traits or styles of playing like more aggressive play or focusing more on appearance, those seem to have an impact. So kids might play more aggressively if they um, have toys that encourage aggression and, and vice versa. Um, so one way that some scientists characterize um, babies and young children when they're playing with toys is that there are little scientists when they're playing. So they're testing ideas and creating hypotheses and evaluating them. The device you're using or the toys you're playing with matter, of course, but how you're using them and with whom you're using them is really important as well. That said, and this is um, where we have very little research actually on how different types of toys influence development, but there is some. And what we know is that that, um, kind of one of the big messages that I see a lot in the research is basic is better. So um, the toys that adults might think are the coolest and have the most interesting features and sounds and screens and all sorts of interactive parts, those might actually be less beneficial for especially babies and toddlers. Um, whereas toys that really uh, have lots of opening, uh, lots of openings so children can do all sorts of things with them, um, it's not very directed, those might actually promote more creativity and problem solving, all the things that we'd like to see for positive development. Also toys that are targeted for boys, especially for little kids, uh, babies and toddlers, those kinds of toys might um, also be more likely to encourage positive thinking and cognitive development and problem solving. So the toys that um, we often intend for little boys might be blocks and construction vehicles and toy cars. Those are the kinds of basic toys that really seem to promote um, math skills and problem solving and creativity. And so I think there's an emphasis on trying to get away from the notion that certain toys are better for boys versus girls because some toys are better for all kids.